Rambler 88, owned by George David, taking part in his sixth Rolex Fastnet race, has had two line honours and a dramatic loss of keel some ten years ago. A tactical error at the Fastnet Rock, but paid to their chances this time round. With line honours in the Vendée Globe race, Charlie Dellen with Paul Mailhat on Apivia were Imoka favourites. What was very interesting uh, for the start of this Rolex Fastnet race is that we had very strong wind, uh, 25, 30 plus of wind, but of dead flat water uh, in the western solid, and that's conditions you basically never see. And the tide was helping us as well, so we could sail uh, like a kind of a new mode, you know, a mode we, we never use. It's uh, folding upwind, you know, it's. Uh, Nobody can, we cannot really do this. Uh, once we sailed through the Rat Blanchard with the tide, uh, the, the tide just uh, changed direction and the gate was kind of closed on some of our competitors. Uh, the boats that were a bit behind already, like they, they, they just faced, faced you know, too, too strong of a tide to sail through, you know, so they had to tack and, and sail north of the uh, Cascade uh, TSS. We just managed to, to get the right timing and that's, that was pretty amazing. You know, it's a legendary race, you know, it's, it's not more complicated than this, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big history, uh, it can be very difficult, the weather can be extreme, and that's my third time uh, competing in the Fastnet, uh, my second win, yeah, it seems the race is going well, is working well for me, so... Sam Davies on Initiative Kerr, the Amoka 60, is an English lady with a huge following in France, and they came fifth in class. Well, that was a, just an incredible stuff. It was pretty scary. And then once we were out, yeah, the sea stoke was terrible. Um, but uh, Initiative Co is, uh, is a boat that's sailed around the world and she's designed to handle that stuff. Uh, no problem. We've got a cockpit with a, um, a protection, like a roof over the top. The real ones who, who did that properly are uh, the guys who haven't arrived yet, uh, who are still out there. And we felt for them because for us it was kind of cheating and a little bit easier. <laughs> Adrian Keller's brand new 84-foot catamaran Allegra won on handicap in the Mocker fleet on its maiden race. Well, actually the start itself was, was quite spectacular. It was 30 knots uh, into, into the tide. Then mm. coming out of Hearst Castle, the, the weather got really tough. Um, but I, I will remember the fast then, although it was uh, 0.45, pitch dark, but still... To see that light from very close is uh, it's unique. It's uh, very special. That's a memory for a lifetime. 